वॉच दिस दिस इज माई कस्टम वो कॉमर्स माई अकाउंट पेज बिल्ट एंटायरली विथ एलिमेंट ऑफ इट हैज अ प्रोफाइल सेक्शन शोइंग द यूजर्स पिक्चर नेम एंड क्विक लिंक्स टू देर एड्रेसेज एंड अकाउंट डिटेल्स बिसाइड दैट दर इज अ सेक्शन विथ टैब्स फॉर ऑर्डर्स डाउनलोड्स सेफ प्रोडक्ट्स एंड मोर एवरीथिंग इन वन प्लेस एंड इजी टू एक्सेस एंड द बेस्ट पार्ट ऑल आर क्लिकेबल ना कंपेयर दैट टू वू कॉमर्स डिफॉल्ट माई अकाउंट पेज इट्स फंक्शनल बट लेट्स बी ऑनेस्ट इट्स प्लेन एंड नॉट वेरी यूजर फ्रेंडली दैट्स वाई वी आर कंप्लीटली रीडिजाइनिंग इट बाय द टाइम वी आर डन योर अकाउंट पेज विल लुक मॉडर्न dynamic and far more intuitive for users first head over to the wordpress dashboard and find the my account page woocommerce creates this automatically when installed if you open it you'll see a shortcut controlling the layout but since we are designing from scratch we don't need that anymore go ahead and delete it save the page and then open it in elementor once inside elementor the first step is to create a full width container this will be the foundation of our design all right go here set the minimum height to 40 vh to give it enough space and align everything to the center for a balanced look at the top add a heading that says my account below that include a short description styling these elements with clean typography and proper spacing makes the page clear and easy to read now it is time to create the user profile section but before that whenever i'm doing some design work for clients i make sure to install this free plugin airlift because okay let me actually show you this so that's my site speed before and that's after it does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast so you should definitely try this and i'll leave the link in the description below now it is time to create the user profile section which will display the profile picture and username of the logged in customer a new full width container with row direction is needed to arrange elements side by side the gap should be set to 40 pixels to space things out evenly under advanced settings applying a negative top margin of let's say minus 58 pixels and a bottom margin of 50 pixels this will ensure the section does not take up too much space inside this an inner container will be added to hold the profile details let's do that the width should be set to 30% and applying a white background with a border radius of 20 pixels will make it look polished a subtle box shadow will give it some depth and padding of 20 pixels will ensure content does not sit too close to the edges next an image widget will be placed inside this inner container to display the user's profile picture Instead of using a static image, select dynamic tags and choose user profile picture. This will automatically pull the logged in user's avatar. Set the image size to full. Adjust the width to 50% and apply a border radius of 50% like this. Now, a heading will be added below the image to display the user's name. Again, use dynamic tags. Select user info. choose username now this will allow elementor to automatically display the logged in user's name to make this greeting more personal a prefix such as welcome back can be added before the username let's adjust the typography to match the site's theme and space it properly to make it look professional so i'll add a full width container again inside this container i'll add an icon box which will be used for each navigation button Set the layout to a stacked circle. Align it to the left with a vertical center. Space the icons correctly, like this. Now each icon needs to link to the correct WooCommerce page. So in the WordPress dashboard, under WooCommerce settings, the advanced section contains account endpoints. These are the URLs for specific account pages like orders, downloads, and addresses. Copying the My Account page URL from the Pages section and appending the appropriate endpoint will create a functional link. go back to woocommerce settings and copy the endpoint then come back and go to the url and replace the last part like this this link will be added inside the elementor icon box settings duplicate the icon box twice and update the links to create quick navigation for orders and addresses so add a full width container again and align it to the center set the background to red 
with a 5 pixel border radius. Under advanced settings, add a top margin of 20 pixels and left side padding of 15 pixels to ensure proper spacing. Inside this, I'll add another icon box. So select the container and set the HTML tag to link. Just go to your shop page, copy the URL and paste it here so others can click it and be redirected to your shop page. Now, the second section needs to be designed to hold additional settings such as payment methods and subscription preferences. I'll again add a full width container like this, set the row direction and add a gap of 30 pixels. Inside this, add another container and align to the center. This container will hold multiple buttons, each leading to different account settings. Again, I'll add a button and style with a black text color, a beige background and a border radius of 20 pixels. I'll also apply some hover effect and change the color to red. Now, I'll duplicate this button twice, each linking to different sections. Go back to WooCommerce settings and copy the endpoint. Then come back and go to the URL and replace the last part like this. All right, we are almost done. Now duplicate the entire container once and update the button text, icons and links. The WooCommerce My Account widget will also be styled to match the rest of the page. So select the second container and insert the My Account widget. This will allow users to access additional account features. Now, under Advanced Settings, go to Custom CSS and paste the code in this box. Alright, once everything is in place, click Update and preview the page. Now, when users visit their account page, they will see a professional, modern and easy to navigate interface instead of the default WooCommerce layout. Everything is clean, dynamic and optimized for user experience. That's it. The WooCommerce My Account page is fully customized and looks far better than before. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. Click this video if you want to triple your site speed in just one minute. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.